Grant, uh, how, how, how's the arm feeling and, and what would it take for you to come off the field? Um, arm's feeling as good as it can right now. Uh, the doctors are taking really good care of me. Um, it's going to have to take a lot. It's going to have to. I, I love playing football. I love being a Razorback. I love going out there, getting wins like that. That's what it's meant for, just to be able to play through pain. Um, football's a painful game, so if there's uh, no pain in it, then nothing's going to happen and getting done. So it, it's going to have to take a lot. It's going to have to come falling off, but it was, it was, they're taking care of me. Next up, next up we'll go with Bob Holt. Uh, yeah, Grant. Hey, congratulations. Um, had a couple questions about the picks. You know, Corral only thrown one pick all year versus Florida. And then you guys, what did you guys do to pick him off six times today? And what did you think of Hudson Clark? He's a guy probably a couple weeks ago, a lot of fans, media didn't know who this guy was. And he gets three picks in an SEC game. Yeah, so I'll answer the first one first. Uh, Corral is a, one heck of a player. Um, hats off to him. He's 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 one of the best in our uh, in our league, so um, be able to do as good as we did against him tonight was a was a gr really good job for our defense. Um, we really just spied the quarterback. We um, went a good amount of zone just because they haven't faced a lot of zone this year. Um, we kind of simplified our defense because they knew they go fast. So we simplified our defense. We got lined up and just played football and just read his eyes. And um, our our coaches do a really good job of knowing what routes they're going to run every single week and just knowing what tendencies they show. Um, so it was just, we're well prepared for this game. Um, our coaches did a really good job. So hats off to them too. Um, the other question, old HUD, I'll tell you right now, three weeks ago, we knew him, we knew what he could do. We knew that he had, he was capable of this. Um, the kids had, the kid has more confidence than anybody in the room, um, to be thrown out there like he did at Mississippi state and do as good as he's done these past two weeks. Um, we're not surprised by it because we see it every day. He works his butt off every single day of practice. Um, he's more confident, like I said, than anybody because he knows what he's going to do and just knows how hard he works. So um, I see a little bit of myself in him, but I'll tell you right now, he's better than me. Grant, one second. I need to do a little something on the settings here real quick. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. And, uh, next, we'll go with Clay Henry. Clay, you got a question? Okay, Tom. Grant, I got a couple of them. First, the Jalen Catlin interception return for a touchdown at the point of the game. How, how big was that kind of for setting the tone for what y'all did tonight? Yeah, so Jalen, he's he's one of those guys. He's a technician. Um, linebackers have a really a joke about him. We call him Iron Man because we always know he's going to be able to make us right if we mess up behind us. So um, just to be able to have that at that time of the game just shows that that no matter what happened, we we were able to capitalize on um, their mistakes and we were just be able to play our defense. Um, we kept saying the whole game, um, who's going to be the guy to make the play? Who's going to be the guy to do their job so good that it ends up making the difference in the game? Um, during that time of the game, it just showed that I think we went up 17 or we went up 14-0 right then. Or um, so That's right. it just shows that we had our offense back. I think they just got uh, pinned or they had a punt and we just showed them that no matter what happened, we were we were able to capitalize on when we got out there. We didn't care where we were spotting the ball. We were just wanting to go out there and stop them. And, and you probably know as well as anyone uh, what this fan base has gone through the last few years. And can, can you put in perspective what this game means? And, and even from the vantage point of how many players you guys have been out? Yeah. Um, so COVID's real. COVID, we can tell this thing is not fun to be able to go up against and not have a full stadium. Um, for for the fans, I'll tell you right now that um, the third downs and fourth downs that I had to be able to tell the D-line what to do, I had to go and tell them in their ears because the fans that were here brought it. And they really did make a difference in the game. I don't care what anybody says. That was a loud fan base today. And um, I don't know if we were pumping anything in, but it definitely worked. It was a, it was a fun atmosphere. Um, anytime to be able to get a win, especially over the past couple of years, how we've been struggling but it's big for our team it's big for the players like to be able to have some success now like we've we've been uh down in the dumps the last couple of years and being able to fight through those things and now we're uh we're we're tougher together now we're we're closer as can be we're as close as can be so 
I know the fans are seeing how happy we are too, and I know they're they're happy. Go next to Kyle Deckelbaum. You got them. Kyle, good. Jordan Black, you need anything? Eric Boland, AP, have a question for Grant? Ty, you have a question? Yeah, Grant, I was texting your brother during the game. He was as excited as anyone on the in the in the stands. What do you think his gonna be his reaction is gonna be the first time you see him after the performance tonight? Oh, he's gonna be you know how he is. He's screaming always. He always got the quote unquote juice. He's he's gonna be happy as can be. Uh my dad FaceTimed me. I got to go over there and see my family after the game. And my dad was FaceTiming and Drew is on it. Drew is screaming as loud as he could, just being super ecstatic. He's not surprised. He knows he knows what we can do as Morgans and just as Arkansas football team and what we're capable of. Um, so uh, he's going to he's gonna say his typical stuff about family over everything. You played a heck of a game. So it, it's uh, it's just it's fun to be playing football. And I know he likes he, – uh, he wishes uh, – he could be out there with me playing. Curtis Wilkerson. Hey, Grant, you didn't have Bumper beside you tonight, but you had some guys step up in his absence. Could you just talk about the job that guys like Hayden and Parker and even Water came in and did for you? Yeah. So um, Bumper, he took a role this week that he has never been able to take um, in his career as Arkansas. So he got to be able to step back and be a coach. Um, and he really did a good job at that. So I'm going to give him credit for getting those guys right. He was on the sidelines coaching us every single day. Coach Pittman came in, talked to him and said, did our guy who's not playing this week get better than their guy not playing? Did they help the team more? So um, that was good. But uh, um, based on Hayden, AP, and Woodard, like they they really – there was no drop off there. They really brought it today. They um, they were expecting big games every day throughout the week. Um, they, they had a lot of confidence in practice and what they were doing. Um, I felt real comfortable with them beside me. I was just talking to Hayden and AP. Um, I, I just love playing football with them. Uh, it really just, it was a fun time just being over there and looking at knowing that they're going to do exactly what they're supposed to do. So it was just, they really did good. Woodard, uh, he's a surprising one that about, I bet a lot of people probably didn't expect to see go in, but the kid's a playmaker. He's going to be a playmaker here uh, in the next couple of years. Um, he had one of the best weeks, probably better than anyone there. Um, just so Seeing that and seeing our coaching staff have confidence in him, if something had to happen with me, like I had to go out for a couple of plays. So um, they, they really excelled, and it was just fun being able to see them play and get Hayden as many snaps as he did, and he played a good game. David, you got a question? Hey, Grant. Uh, uh, two top two offenses, uh, Ole Miss and Mississippi State, and have it really excelled, really shut them down. Coach Odom, has he used that as motivation to come out? I mean, we want to shut these guys down. It's something different with the game plan, the mentality. Um, and also, too, did uh, did you guys do anything different this week? I know you struggled tackling a little bit at Auburn. I know it wasn't up to the standard you'd had before. Uh, address those two things if you could. Yeah. So the offenses, um, the things that we did, uh, we, we talked about it throughout the week, that we wanted to be able to set the standard on what other teams did against these offenses, that we played them so good that they were able to say, all right, we want to do what Arkansas did against these teams. And as you can see, I, I feel like Kentucky did that against Mississippi State that next week. Um, and who knows what the next teams that are going to play Ole Miss, they'll probably look at our game and say, this is what we got to do. Just because this is the type of offenses that we're going to see probably more. They're going to pass the ball more and more. It's become an offensive minded uh, league. They want to score 60 something points a game, but uh, we stayed a heck with that. So we're going to we're gonna to have to change. We're a, we're like we've said throughout the whole spring. We're multiple defense. We're gonna change our defense. To give us the best shot, no matter what uh, type of game we're gonna play. Um, we could be in Jack. We could be in Razor. We could be in a lot of different things. Um, and the second question. Um, actually, can you repeat the second question? Sorry, I forgot it. I lost my. It, train it was the uh, last week against Auburn. Struggle against. Oh struggling yeah. Tackling. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Tackling. So, um, just the things that we did is throughout the week, like. I was, I was limited throughout the week. So I know um, I wasn't allowed to tackle most of the time, but I made it a virtue to still thud people up because I know that I missed a tackle last week. And um, we just put an emphasis on every single period. We started individuals. Um, and when we were in our indie, we literally did tackling every single day, just because like that wasn't our standard. Like 
we um, we don't miss tackles. That's what we don't need to like. That's our that's our goal. We don't miss zero tackles. That's our number one goal to do. And um, so we took it day by day. We focused on tackling every single rep. If we were in team period, if we were seven on seven, we tag off exactly how we were supposed to. Put an emphasis on tackling. Um, I thought we did a really good job. Um, I still think I could have made a couple more tackles um, today, but that's going to be every single game. But uh, I thought we did a good job as a group tackling. Uh, it's it's just fun to see our team fly around when. I'm picking people off off the pile, and there's six of our red jerseys on one, so I love it. A couple more. We'll go to uh, Seth Campbell. Hey, Grant. Uh, Sam Pittman just said in his press conference that, you know, you envision uh, what he sees as an Arkansas football player, just the toughness that you bring. What does that mean to you that your head coach is saying that he, you are the prototypical Razorback? Yeah, um, that means a lot, actually. That's a, that's a big honor for him to say that just because I know how hard I've worked for this. I know how hard um, I've been able to just push for things that a lot of people doubted me to do. Um, a lot of people doubted me that they wouldn't set out, said I wouldn't be an SEC linebacker. They said when I got my shot, I wouldn't be able to be here and doing the things I did. So um, I definitely have, it's not a chip on my shoulder. It's definitely a log on my shoulder. I've been carrying it and I've been able to, I'm going to keep it there just because I'm going to be able to continue to keep going and just try to push for perfection every single chance I get. And all I know is as Razorbacks, we, we want to play. And we, we love to win, but we just love football around here. We're tough guys, and I'm just the average of everybody around me. That's the thing. Everybody's tough around here. We all want to be able to go and play football. We love it here. We love playing and coming to practice every single day. So um, these coaches, this coaching staff really brought out a lot, of it, a lot in us. And uh, it's just I'm glad he said that because I know I've, I've worked my butt off to get there. Uh, Dorian, got a question for him? Uh, I was going to ask about the tackling, but Grant, can you just talk about uh, the confidence level of the defense? I mean, you guys have done, you did it against Mississippi State again today. I mean, what is your confidence level and how do you feel like you stack up with the rest of the defenses in the league? Our confidence level is it's it goes with our expectations. Our expectations are higher than anybody's that we we want to play like that's what we're we're part of this SEC to not be someone you just see on the schedule, they count as a win. Like we want to be able to, where people circle us and they say, well, we got to bring it this game because they can beat our butts. So that's our confidence level. Our confidence level is we can beat any single team on our schedule. Um, we're not going into games just to play and get respect. I think we've got respect now. Um, we're going to win and we're going to take every chance we can get um, just because we know what we're capable of doing. And the confidence level is that, like, look at us. Like we had, no one expected Hudson Clark to be out there, Karee Johnson to be out there. Um, those guys really brought it. And you could tell, like, they had a type of swagger to them. They had a type – they just have confidence just because it's – everybody trusts the next person in line. Everyone trusts the same person in their position group. So, it's just – it goes down to what we've all put our work in and it's what you what you put your confidence in, so. All right. Uh, that'll be it for Graham Morgan.